In Bradenton, city officials are looking at ways to bring more affordable housing within the city limits. During tonight's city council meeting, they'll talk about some new strategies to add more housing over the coming years through a new partnership program with the state. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick joins us live from outside City Hall with more tonight. Jess? Good evening, Scott. It's called the state's local housing assistance program. The city of Bradenton has been receiving these funds since the 90s, totaling more than $6.5 million. It's all part of a joint effort between the city and the state to both create and preserve affordable home ownership here on the Sun Coast. Tonight, city council is expected to approve another three-year partnership with the state. This money is set aside to help low and moderate income families with living assistance. It's used for things such as providing loans for first time homeowners, home repairs and reconstruction. It also helps the city acquire apartments that can be turned into affordable housing. Also rental eviction prevention for those in need. Now each year the city receives between $300,000 and $500,000 for the program, but the city's housing and community development manager Vicki White says that could all change depending on how our state lawmakers handle the affordable housing trust fund. White says in the past lawmakers have rated the trust fund to try to balance the state budget. Now that meeting did just get underway coming up tonight on ABC News at 11. I will take you inside of this meeting and tell you what these plans are coming forward. Also tell you how city council votes tonight. Live in Bradenton, Jess Daldrick, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.